Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll go over a useful SQL clause known as group by all. The group by all clause extends the functionality of the group by clause. While the standard group by clause aggregates data based on specified columns, the group by all clause is used to ensure that all possible combinations of the specified columns in the select statement are included in the result set. This will exclude expressions with aggregate and window functions, constants and query parameters. So let me give you a demonstration. I've queried one of my tables in Databricks. It just contains information about city bikers in Jersey City. City Bike is a bike sharing program allowing users to rent bicycles from docking stations throughout New York and Jersey City. I've queried all of the columns from this table, as you can see from the select star statement. You have the ride ID. This is a unique identifier for each ride. This member casual attribute indicates the type of user who took the ride, differentiating between members to the city bike program and casual riders. You have the rideable type, which is the type of vehicle used for the ride, for example, a classic bike or an electric bike. You have the started at and the ended at timestamp values. This will tell you when each trip began and ended. You also have the start station ID and the end station ID. And then you have the coordinates of the start position and the ending position. So this will just be the coordinates for the starting and ending stations. So let's say I want the number of total rides from this table for each rideable type combination and member casual combination. So I could type this, modify this statement and do select rideable type member casual. And then I can aggregate, let's say the ride ID to get the count of the total number of rides. So this will count the non-null values in ride ID. So I'll alias this as total underscore rides. But then I also need to group by all of the non-aggregated columns. So what I would have to do is specify them. So rideable underscore type and member underscore casual. And then run this. So as you can see, that does give me the desired result. However, I've had to specify each non-aggregated column. It would be quicker if I just type group by all and then run this. And as you can see, the result is the same. This group by all clause avoids me having to type out each non-aggregated column or expression from this select clause. So in this example, we only have two. However, if you're working with a table containing loads of attributes, you know, let's say, for example, you have 15 non-aggregated columns, then it's going to be quite time consuming having to type them all out in the group by all statement, especially if you then have to modify the query later on and add an additional column, because then you have to ensure that your group by clause also contains that column. So this group by all clause can save you a lot of time. Okay, so now let me query the table again. So I will just do select star from JC bike data 22. So now let's say in addition to this rideable type and member casual attributes, I also want the total number of rides grouped by the specific month and year that the ride started. So to get the month and year combination, I can use an expression on this started at timestamp attribute. So what I can do is I can select, again, rideable type, member casual, and then to get the, let's say, year and month combination, I can just use the date format function and then specify the started at column as the first argument, and then the format I'd like the result in. So let's say I want it in two digit year and then two digit month, and I can alias that as year month. And then let's say I want the total number of rides for this combination of attributes. So then I can do a count of ride ID as total underscore rides. So now when I want to group by, without using group by all, I would have to copy this and then specify them here, like so. And now if I run this, That does give the desired result. However, I can also use group by all and just do this. 
And as you can see, this makes the query look much more straightforward. So I hope you're starting to see how the group by all clause can simplify your queries and reduce the time taken to write complicated queries. This group by all clause is supported on many cloud-based data platforms, such as Databricks, Snowflake, and Google BigQuery. But at the time of recording, which is mid-2024, it's still not universally supported. So if you're using SQL on a relational database like MySQL or Oracle, then the group by all clause won't work.